All right, welcome to module two. Thank you so much for your participation in module one. I love reading your introductions um, and I love hearing about your goals. So thank you and it was so nice to meet you in that way. All right, module two. Now we're getting into the work of a historian. So this is a general education history class. So obviously not being trained to be historians, but definitely being trained to understand how history is written, how the story gets told. Um, this week, you are going to look at primary sources. So remember, primary sources are artifacts. Those artifacts, can they're raw materials. They are the pictures, the journals, the diaries, the letters, raw materials. Secondary sources describe these raw materials. So for example, the Constitution of the United States is a primary source. It's, it's, it's like when you have your first grade picture. That's a primary source. There is no other one. There's not one before. There's no first grade picture before that. No first grade picture after that, hopefully. <laughs> um, you know, it's a primary source. So the Constitution is a primary source. Joseph Story was a Supreme Court Justice in the 1800s. He wrote commentaries on the Constitution of the United States. This is a secondary source because it is describing a primary source. That's how you can tell the difference. Is what I'm looking at, is it an original or is it describing an original? That's sort of a, an easier way to kind of tell the difference. So this week you're going to find artifacts. So for example, when people have done uh, Miranda versus Arizona, sometimes a mugshot of Ernesto Miranda, that's a primary source, absolutely. So is the Supreme Court case <laughs> that gives the ruling on that, that's a primary source. Um, okay, so you're going to use the SIFT method. You're going to stop and reflect. You're going to investigate the source. For example, this commentary is on the Constitution of the United States. Why would I care about this book? It's written by Joseph Story, a Supreme Court justice. He, what, is the, what does the Supreme Court do? It interprets the Constitution. He probably knows what he's talking about. So that's why I have this book. And he goes line by line, article by article. Um, so that's investigating the source. Find supporting evidence and trace claims. So that's what you're doing this week. This week is primary sources. Your assignment has a template. Use it. Um, that just helps you stay organized. It helps you make sure that you cover everything. Check out always the guidelines and rubric. Uh, the rubric is right below. So when you're in the assignment section, you know, it lays out what you need to do. It has a link to the template and then just keep going and there's the rubric. Um, that will just help ensure that you don't leave anything out. Um, so read the module two guide, read the required resources, participate in the optional discussion if you want. It's not required this week, so no obligation there, but if you want to, you can. And then submit your project pro proposal using the template and your five primary sources. Please reach out to me with any questions and have a wonderful week.